children? The other day I was reading through comments and realized that a lot of people don't know the difference between your and your or their and their and their and things like that. And I think I know the reason why. It's because you don't read. Books are good for your children. They teach you valuable life lessons. So today I'm gonna recommend you a wonderful book that I found at Barnes and Nobles the other day. Snakes and Reptiles. The general editor of the book is Susan Barraclough, however you say that name. It has an introduction page with lots of words, but I'm just gonna skip through that. <laughs> Look at this rhinoceros viper. If you didn't read this book and saw a rhinoceros viper, you would be inclined to poke it with a stick. And the snake will jump in and bite you in the neck. And who cares if you have a great DSLR? Nobody cares, cause you're gonna die. It also teaches you that boa constrictors and rats don't make good pets together. As you can see, the boa constrictor will swallow the whole rat. If your name is Angelina Jolie, you probably don't want this snake. Mostly because you have two adopted Asian kids who will likely end up playing in a boat and get bitten by a snake. Here's another case of the boat incident. Bite you on the foot. Bite your favorite bat. Bite you in the neck. <laughs> Bite an attractive black male. Fly in the air like a dragon. Eat a flying bird. Eat a whole alligator. Jizz on your eye. Eat your eyes out. Terminate the life of a pathetic cat lady. As you can see, this book teaches you a very important life lesson. Don't get a pet snake! <laughs> Without having read this book, I wouldn't have known that. And that's why reading is so important. Now I know that I shouldn't camp alone in the middle of nowhere or let my child play by the water all by herself. I also learned that Pokemons are real. Pokemons are real! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.